Piak finding the back of the net. And it's Joey Cipollone who gets offense going. He did well against UND last year. Yeah, again, a, a soft play off the wall by the defenseman. A quick play to the middle by Quinnipiac and the pucks, the pucks in the back of the net. And it does happen a few times tonight for UND when that happens. Christophe Tellier also answering, making it 2-0 his second of the year. Yeah, we talked about this earlier. Bad break. Ethan Frisch, great job. Takes a, I mean, eats the puck in the leg and can't get up because he's a little bit dinged up from it. And they get a break, get a goal. Part of two goals in two minutes for the Bobcats. Three goals on seven shots in the first period, including, including Jacob Quillen. Another great quick up by their defenseman. They chip it in the zone. They win the puck battle, the puck race. And this is a really good shot right here. Quillen puts it where he wants to, right off the post and it's a great play. UND finding its stride, though, in the second period, out shooting the Bobcats 21-7. It starts with Dylan, Dylan James scoring his first goal as a fighting hot. Well, now the quick up went the other way. UND up by his quick. Dylan James over to Ports. Ports off the post, and James stays with it, pucking the net. But the fourth line striking again to keep Quinnipiac in it, and that's TJ Friedman. Yeah, and Helsinki wants some back. No questions asked. You, if you ask them, you say, yeah, I want that one back. Should have had it. But those things happen in hockey, and he bounced back. Had a great uh, great game after that. UND getting some momentum, though, after two periods because Reese Gaber connects once again. What a feed, though, from Owen McLaughlin. Great, great heads-up play. Stop, misdirection, going back, and then feeding it back across your body through the front of the net to the far side. Nice play by, by McLaughlin. We're just getting started, though. How about the third period four total goals scored and we got a bobby Orr type goal from the freshman jackson blake man we love to see him a little spinorama here to the net in the air when he's shooting i mean just that's a great play by him we talked about getting to the net getting to the middle and getting the goal that's what he did this is part about three goals in about a three minute span because we got chris jandrick fighting the back of the net as well yeah the same thing they went hard to the front of the net went hard to the middle Puck turns over, they're, they're collapsing and selling out on that. You're going to find opportunities on that. Quinnipiac coming in with a perfect penalty kill. Gavin Hayne once again killing that. UND 2 of 6 on the power play tonight, thanks to Gavin Hayne. Not going to lie, you surprised that one went in the net, but a soft play <laughs> by their defenseman up the wall. You know, puck to the middle of the ice, Jander gets it, fires it in the net. CJ McGee, though, silencing the Ralph. It seemed like UND had this one, but he comes back to tie this up at 5. Yeah, it, it's a good play, one-timer, across the zone. Goalie's got to move laterally a long distance, so it's a tough save, but good shot by them. We had overtime, and then we ultimately go to shootout. This is the goal we're going to be talking about for quite a while from Jackson Blake. Yeah, great move. Coming down, like I said, he likes to come down the right side, takes to the backhand, quickly back to, the, to, to his forehand and goal. And then Reese Gaber as well, putting UND up again in the shootout, but ultimately, it's Jacob Helsting getting the job done between the pipes. Yeah, uh, notice that the player uh, coming down the ice, the player loses the puck, Helsting comes out, great poke check, gets aggressive with it, makes that player make a decision quicker than he wants to, and he makes the save. Resiliency, the definition of this team yeah. from tonight. Here are the final stats after we skate to a 5-5 tie. Keep in mind, UND does win the shootout, but because this is a non-conference game, this is going to go down as a tie for both teams. The shots on goal, though, really stood out, especially what, you, uh, especially what Quinnipiac can do on defense. 